In this tutorial, we will be looking at how we can calculate the measure of the interior angles of a regular polygon. We will start with a regular polygon and write down a few facts that we know about it. First, this one has five sides. Second, we can use the sum of the interior angles of a polygon formula to determine the sum of the interior angles. Third, because this is a regular polygon, we know that all of the interior angles are equal. If we know the sum of the interior angles and the number of interior angles, we can determine the measure of each individual angle. We divide the sum of the interior angles by the number of interior angles. Replace our numerator with a formula for the sum of the interior angles. Then, Replace the denominator with n. There are the same number of interior angles as sides, so n works. Solve, and we get 108 degrees. If you know the measure of the individual angles of a regular polygon, you can also work the other direction to determine how many sides a polygon has. How many sides would a regular polygon have that has interior angles measuring 90 degrees. Start with the formula for individual angles of a regular polygon. Now substitute 90 degrees in and solve for n. Multiply both sides by n to cancel the n in the denominator. Expand out your brackets by using the distributive rule. Subtract 180n from both sides. Now divide both sides by negative 90. This gives you an answer of n equals 4, so a regular polygon with interior angles measuring 90 degrees has 4 sides. In this lesson, you learned how to calculate the measure of the individual angles of a regular polygon using the following formula. You also learned that you can use the formula to determine the number of sides of a regular polygon if you know the measure of the interior angles.